It's fair to say that nowadays most people know about the capabilities and potential that ChatGPT has for teachers and the classroom. It can make learning more engaging but also make teachers lives more easy. If you don't know what ChatGPT is, I have previously made a tutorial on how to use that. Make sure you go and check that out up here. However, what I want to talk about in this video is a way to make ChatGPT more productive, not only for teachers, but for children. One of the things that I find challenging sometimes using ChatGPT is having to flick through the tabs. In the past, I've made previous videos on how to use Google Chrome extensions to make your life a little bit easier. So like this video suggests, I'm going to show you a fantastic add-on, an extension for Google Chrome to make your life easier, to use ChatGPT, and to just generally be a bit more productive. So let's jump into the tutorial. So as we can see, this is how I will find ChatGPT for Google. You could type in ChatGPT for Google extension, it wouldn't really matter, but from there you're going to click on that, and then as you can see here, I have already added this in. Once you've installed it, the process of getting into this is really straightforward. So you're going to click on this button here, and to start off with, it will ask you to log in. If you haven't already set up ChatGPT in the classroom and all those bits and pieces, the tutorial explains that, but it's just a really simple login process. You can log in through Google Chrome, uh, through a range of different access, or just usually using your manual email. From there, it's gonna take you to this screen. And if you've used ChatGPT before, this will be extremely familiar. There's many different things that you can do with ChatGPT, and I'll be expanding on those different capacities for it in the classroom in a future workshop. If you wanna join the mailing list for that, make sure you go and check out the description, which is underneath the like button. So if we are here, there's all sorts we could do. We might start off by just asking, what is ChatGPT? just so that you can see exactly how it works. It is exactly the same as the normal ChatGPT in your browser. It's really straightforward and as we can see, it goes through like this. Now, if we were to ask the same question, ChatGPT on Google here, we can see ChatGPT comes up and you'll see up in the corner, there's a little ChatGPT section here. So ChatGPT is, is searched up, and if I was to go on ChatGPT potential in the classroom, then it will give me the Google search, which is nice and quick, but you can already see that it's starting to come up with all sorts of different ideas and ways that you can use ChatGPT in the classroom. This is good for me personally, because Google will often give a bit of an introduction, a bit of an overview of what Google says, but it's nice to have this artificial intelligence system that can structure and share an additional section. This is a good summary of the internet, and again, it's nice to be able to contrast and compare against those two. This has given a range of different examples, and now I want to show how I would use this in the classroom. So this is a recent assembly that I've done very recently, I've completed it. However, it could have helped me with this. So as I tap onto this extension up here, uh, I can show you, I don't know, this was a sustainability assembly. So ways schools can improve sustainability. I want to give it a number to be more specific um, and it will just it will list these out now that we have this I can copy all these different ideas over and if I'm in my Chrome I just paste it in now as we can see I need to change some things for formatting uh, so that's something that I would need to work on uh, however my, my one little gripe if the people who have made this extension happen to see this is then when you tap back on this the ChatGPT, it restarts. Now, if you need to access that again, let's say I'd not copied all of it over or I wanted to go back and see it, you have to click into this and you can see a few things that I've searched before, but you can also see that this is them popping up. So it's, it's nice and simple to get back, but perhaps a couple more clicks. So it's, it's not as productive in that manner, but certainly worth looking at. So. It's a brilliant idea. ChatGPT extension is extremely powerful, extremely useful, and can also support children with their learning. It's something that if children are using a docs or Google Chrome slides, for example, the children could also have that as an extension on the side that can just help them in a range of different ways so that they're not having to have different tabs open because you can worry about what they've got open and all those bits and pieces. If you found this video useful, make sure you like it. Again, if you wanna go and check out that workshop, make sure you have a check into the description up to the mailing list and subscribe if you want to see more these videos are free so a subscription to this goes a long way you can always unsubscribe at a later date but yeah appreciate it see you guys in the next one until then i'm out